guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. I know the title says it's November favourites. This video was originally going to be a tutorial on this look, but this girl managed to delete all of the footage and I lost a nail. So that's not really high on my list of favourites this month, but we will work with it. So now I'm going to jump straight into the favourites video and perk myself up and let's get cracking. First favourite of the month is this foundation. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, I wasn't sure if I was going to love it. It is somewhere in between like and love because the formula is so gorgeous for oily skin and particularly for my kind of oily skin because I am normal to oily which basically means that this bit is oily and this bit is not and it's really hard to find a foundation that will sit evenly everywhere for a long period of time, but this one is doing the job. The only thing that's stopping it from being a love is that I managed to get 0 0.5 instead of the shade I probably should have got, which was probably one. And that's because in the store, under store lighting, it looked perfect. And I am really pale. So for somebody who is really pale, this works. Like this is such a great foundation for my porcelain ladies out there. I apparently have darkened like half a shade um which is weird because we're in autumn winter and you'd think it would be like but no if i'd gotten shade one this would be a love but for the formula it's superb so what i'm doing at the moment is mixing it with a darker foundation and then bronzing up a little bit so that i don't look like a pancake next favorite is the laura mercier secret brightening powder i got this on the interwebs from space nk everybody talks about the laura mercier translucent powder for baking and I've had it a number of times over the years and it's great. It's a really, really, really good, I don't know why I'm holding it there. It's a really good powder, but I was looking for something for my skin tone, i.e. basically being like chalk, and I needed a powder that was so bright that it would actually brighten my under eyes and the translucent powder just wasn't quite light enough for me. So I thought I would try this little girl and that sounded so weird. I thought I'd try this product and it's great. It's really, really good. Now we actually have a super duper mega huge favourite of mine. This is the fucking bee's knees. <laughs> this is MAC's Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. When I went to MAC at the beginning of the month, end of October, beginning of this month, whatever, whichever day it was, I went there just pottering about, looking for stuff, and I was actually talking to the MAC girl about an eyeliner, a black one, that would go on the waterline and wouldn't move. She actually gave me a really bad recommendation, which is a bit annoying. She told me to use Definedly Black, which is a pro long wear pencil. And you know, she was talking about how it lasts forever on the waterline, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure it does. It's just that it actually won't go onto the waterline. Really annoying. Anyway, that's completely besides the point. I picked this up while I was there because apparently my eyeballs like a magpie just kind of to wherever is the shiniest bit. Oh, I'm wearing it on my cheekbones. We're gonna put a little more on. Oh, baby girl. Can we all just take a moment for that highlight? I feel like this is the most exciting product that MAC has brought out in a really long ass time because MAC have, I suppose in like the last four or five years have had to compete with this like crazy rise of beauty companies, especially developing a huge following on Instagram and other social media accounts and stuff. And we've all kind of moved on from the MAC craze. This has brought me back to MAC. If you keep making products like this one, I will be your homegirl for forever. The next favourite is a blush palette from Revolution. I am actually quite a big Revolution fan. When I started getting these products, it was in a phase where I was like, I'm going to try some new drugstore makeup, I'm going to give it a whirl see how it goes and every single uh, there's only been like one palette from revolution that i haven't been that impressed with and that was the highlighter palette the radiance one only because i've now gone on to this one <laughs> and i'm kind of feeling in my heart like majority of other highlights seem like they've fallen to the wayside for me but this is the golden sugar 2 rose gold ultra blush palette i'm going to show it to you Can you see how beautiful those tones are? I'm gonna swatch a few on the back of my hand. The palette has two normal blushes at that end and they're kind of cool tone, light, 
blushes, like just to give like a little hint of colour. There's one of them on my hand along with other things. But it's got some beautiful highlight shades in here. And while none of them really compare to Max Double Gleam for me, there is a sensational gold shade in there. Can you see her? She's sitting right there. I've swatched it on my hand at the bottom. Now on a darker skin tone, that would be phenomenal. These are some of the other highlight shades as well. You've got like a gold and you've got a rose and there's even a pearly pink one. It's a really good palette if you're looking for an inexpensive highlighting palette and you're not sure what shade is gonna suit you or you actually just wanna have a whole bundle of shades that are just fab, give it a whirl. It's really, really, really good. Still on the palette front is the new Sleek Rockstars Collection palette. This is the Diamonds in the Rough palette. Now, if you like rose gold shades, I like rose gold shades, you're gonna love this. It's a really good price, like a really good price. Again, it's like a drugstore style palette. Now they've got two creamy shadows. I've put the gold one on the back of my hand to join in with everything else. It's got a huge sheen on it. So it's really cool if you like just a washer color, that would be spectacular on olive skin or even my darker skin girls, that would just be so beautiful. And then they've got this like pearly job, which I'm gonna put there. The formula feels a little weird at first. Let me see if I can, can you see that? Oh, you spanner. That is this awesome opal pearly shade with a pink sheen over the top. That's a shade for me, for my skin tone, it's great. I wouldn't use them and then put other shadows on top if you expect them to last, because it's not gonna have the lasting power of a primer. But if you put a shadow on top, let's take, um, let's take that gold one and put it over the gold creamy shadow. It's very nice. And I'm gonna take the rose gold shade in the middle and put that over that opaly job. Look how beautiful that is. It's a really nice palette. And I've always been impressed by Sleek palettes. I've always loved the company. I think for the price, you get such good quality. But this is an exciting palette, do you know what I mean? It's like an of the moment palette where they've kind of gone, here are all the current shades that everyone's liking and we're gonna put them in with a good formula for a good price. And honestly, it's really, really good. It's a good investment if you need some rose gold shades in your life for not that much money. Or if you just wanna try something from a well-established makeup brand and you wanna be pleasantly surprised. I've just put the dark, can you see that dark rose shade at the bottom there? Hang on. Oh, I just completely destroyed it with my fingernails. That one there, I just put that swatch on the bottom of my hand. Just there. Another makeup favorite for me is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. And this is in the shade Cherry Skies. I love this shade. I'm gonna swatch it for you. I love red lipstick. I, I really love red lipstick, but I love it when you find a red lipstick from a company that's gone, let's make a red for autumn. It is not a plum, it's a really dark red and it's gorgeous. The formula is really nice. It's not that drying, especially for a drugstore lipstick. I love a lot of drugstore makeup. I've tried to include a mixture, like an even number of each in this. For me, I still have to put a balm on underneath and on top because it's my personal problem. My lips get really dry really fast. And once they get dry, they crack. And then it's like, goodbye to having a normal face for the next like week and a half. But it's beautiful. It is just such a beautiful red. So if you want me to use that in a tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Last makeup favorite is the NYX Wonder Pencil. This is in the shade Light. I use this religiously in my waterline. Maybe I've swatched it. There. It's very light, it's skin toned. It's brilliant for filling your waterline in to make your whites of your eyes look extra super duper white. But also it makes your eyes look really, really big. And this for me has been a staple the last couple of months. I feel like in the autumn months, our makeup just goes from like, oh, light and shimmery to like, let's do this thing. When that time comes around, this is a necessity for me. I got this pencil the beginning of September and I've loved it so much. I can't even tell you, it's brilliant. Moving on to some makeup brushes. I was in Superdrug the other day 
on a revolution hunt because I really like them. Like I really like that makeup brand. I was having a little look for some things and I saw that they had a beautiful contouring makeup set and I was like, Phew. let's all just stop and take a moment. I just spat all over my lips, that's lovely. I picked it up. It came with a crease brush as well, which is told off somewhere. So, hello. It came with this crease brush and that's wandered off somewhere. I'm not sure where. But I have been on the hunt for a really good contouring brush that is inexpensive and easy to wash and works with cream and powder products and I've got to say I think this is the one. It's a synthetic brush so it's cruelty free and it comes in the set with this nifty little one which is also a contouring brush but I've been using this for my foundation liking that as well, but this is the bomb. I'm holding it in my stupid hand. Urgh. I really like it. I feel like this is one of the only brushes for me that will buff my contour in, whether it's cream or powder, and not pull my foundation off. I don't know if this happens to you, but it happens to me all the time. And so I'm sitting there like, <laughs> barely putting any pressure on, but this one I can really buff on in, and it does the job. I'm gonna do earring favorites because the only jewelry I wear besides my engagement ring is earrings. I'm really funny. I do own necklaces and bracelets and other rings and stuff. I just don't really like to wear them. So with that in mind, I love earrings. These are a favourite this month. Fun fact about me, I don't do little gentle earrings. No. I do big colossal chandeliers. It's just a personal thing. I just love them and I have loved them since I was about 16. So I love these ones, they're from H&M. They're still in the shop at the moment and they're like this beautiful blend between diamantes and pearls and they're long, they're not that heavy at all. Actually really, I can barely feel them because they're plastic so they don't weigh anything. But these would be really good if you're doing a night out or if you're just, you know, existing like me. They were like 5.99, 6.99, I don't know, somewhere under 10 pounds, which is great. Another earring favorite this month, which I'm gonna wear in my next video, I don't know if you guys watch Rain. I watch Rain because Adelaide Kane gives me life, I swear to God. I'm also a massive history nerd and I love Mary Queen of Scots. I particularly love the relationship between Mary Queen of Scots and Elizabeth I. I find it rather fascinating that they never met in real life. They only communicated via letters, but that rivalry and relationship lasted, well, lasted their whole lives and also has lasted through history. I think that's fascinating. but. In the programme, Mary is always wearing fantastic earrings. I mean, the costumes they do, even though they're not historically accurate, they're still like, oh, yeah. And these earrings are also from H&M. And when I saw them, I was just like, oh my God, are they Mary earrings? It's very clever the way they do nods to Catholicism in their costume jewelry. And when I saw these in H&M, again under 10 pounds, I had to have them. They are very QM and I love them, so they're going in the next video. Do you want to be in the favourites? Do you want to? Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Come here, you dope. Say hi, everybody. Hello. This is Luna. She's my babe. So yeah, that's the end of my November favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for my next video, which I will try not to delete before I even post it. So let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see, what other videos you'd like to see. If you would like to see a tutorial on this makeup look, just ask. I will film it again because I'm such a dope and I've managed to delete the whole thing. Like every last bit of footage. I'll see you guys with my next video. Bye. Who is a good girl? Who is? You? Are you sure?